Welcome to QB Tech 1.3. In this video, we'll cover the electric forge and the metal press line of devices. So first of all, the electric forge is just a handy little uh, kind of a bonus device, I guess. You could just throw two ingots on there or other metal uh, workpiece and plates, and it'll heat it up. It's much slower than the vanilla forge but you don't have to worry about fuel use and such so in that way it's kind of handy so now we are going to handle the first metal press which is the metal plate press and its function is to take your heated ingots actually I've done this video so many times I'm just gonna put these heated ingots on the floor in case I screw up yet again <laughs> which I just did. So of course you need two ingots to make a metal plate. So when it find, it goes in the left, outputs the right, and we get brass plates. So that's it's pretty straightforward. You could also be using a hell of hammer, so you don't necessarily need this unless you want to automate things right through. So now we're going to cover the rod press, which in some final future version of QB Tech, it's not going to be called a soft metal press. It's going to be a lathe or something. But like just to get all the devices in, I've kind of just copied the press. So I'm going to put in my, it takes uh, plates, not ingots. And it outputs rods. So now when you're making QB stuff, to, QB Tech stuff. The metal rod is used just for making QB Tech devices. It's not actually a vanilla thing, but they're a pain in the butt to hammer out on the anvil. So if you've built yourself a metal plate press, then the rod press, you can get those out. And you could chain them. I could put a metal plate press here, put the hot ingots this side, and it would just flow through. But we're doing them each individually. So this is the screw press, which again, somehow I'll rename it. I'll figure out a much better name. So it takes metal rods and it outputs screws. And both the rod press and the screw press are much more efficient. You get more out for your, your metal than you do manually hammering them out. Plus, of course, you don't have to hammer them out, which if you've, you've made a bunch of QP Tech stuff, you know what a pain in the butt it is to make screws. And that's kind of like the, the goal of QP Tech is to make things like, it's hard, you put a lot of work into making your machines, but then they slowly make life easier, and then ultimately there'll be more complicated machines, and on and on you go. So now I'm going to take two copper ingots, and I've put the plate version of the machine back again because I want a copper plate for this which is the last press it's called a pipe bender which just looks like a press again and what it does is it takes metal plates heated all the stuff has to be heated I don't know if I mentioned that and it gives you shoot sections which are useful for making QP tech stuff and vanilla stuff and you get three out for your plate, which ends up being one bonus one. And plus, of course, not hammering manually on the anvil. So anyways, those are the metal presses, which will ultimately be replaced with other devices, except for the plate press itself. Uh, coming in future version, you can see it's still kind of a pain to work with these. The press will pick up stuff from the forge uh, but there's a much better device coming in a future version called the electric crucible which is going to be super cool but also has a lot of bugs and stuff so that is it oh I should mention that you can put in theory the metal plate press and then the rod press and then the screw press you can line them all up and it will flow through and actually it will pick up from 
the forge. So you could put two ingots there, which would pick it up there, go into there. But the problem is, as you go, this is going to put out more than one rod into this machine. So the remaining rods are just going to get dumped on the ground. So while you can do this, it's not recommended. Or I guess I would go as far. You could go from here to here, from metal plates to rods, then into a chest, and then put the screw in at the end. That's probably the best you could do right now. Now I have had a request, and I will add it eventually, is to uh, the machine plates. I will have a way to make these automated. Right now, you would take your heated plate, put it on an anvil and hammer them out, and then add your screws. So ultimately, there will be sort of a drill press that would take plates, drill the holes, and then probably input separately, like a s screws, and then uh, have some sort of assembly machine. So then you could automate that portion of the production process to make your machine making easier. But for now, it's pretty easy to take, like if you're using your metal plates and getting heated metal plates out, you could just whip them on there and punch in your four holes and you're good to go. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.